I take it the evening didn't get any better after we left. <sighs> Are you okay? What do you think? My bride married somebody else. It's not your fault. Well, that doesn't make me feel any better. So what happened after we left? Well, I tried to get through to Kate. And for a second, I thought I did. And then Connie was just playing. So no Kate? You know what? All this whole thing about, the, you know, taking the ceremony to the altar and announcing in public that she was married to Johnny, it was Connie's way to jerk me around. For whatever reason, she hates me. And a feeling's mutual. Uh, I don't know that that's entirely healthy. Hating an aspect of Kate's personality? Maybe not, but the, the truth is that Connie keeps saying, you know, you've lost Kate forever. She walks out of here with Johnny, right? It took every... You know me. It took everything in me not to want to strangle that bastard. And I admire your restraint. I'm sorry, I know how difficult this is for you. You told me you were gonna find a way to have Connie legally committed. Tell me you figured that out. You understand? Kate cannot beat her. So, she has to go to Shady Brook so the doctors can help her. Right, but only someone from her immediate family can have her committed. Right. Which would have been me if Johnny hadn't married her first. I'm afraid so. you have no legal standing what about in this Olivia? situation. What Olivia, a Olivia? Yeah. Even if we can convince a judge that her wishes should trump Johnny's, she has her own issues with mental health. You saw her today. She seemed fine, you know, I, like And by normal. her own admission, she said that she's still having hallucinations, that she can't distinguish between what's real and what isn't. There's no way a judge is going to give her authority over this situation. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. Just figure out a I, way to fix it. What if I could? And you know that. Yeah. And you know how much I hate to admit this, but I'm at a loss here because Kate has protected herself from legal intervention. She knew exactly what she was doing when she married Johnny. It's dangerous that she killed Star Manning's little girl. Hey, you know what? Let's not have her committed. Let's have her arrested. What, do you want to have her arrested for manslaughter, uh -huh. murder? Well, well, they'd have to evaluate her state of mind, am I right? They would if the charges against her hadn't already been dropped. Against Kate. Not, now she's Connie. The court doesn't discriminate okay. between personalities. Both Kate and Connie inhabit the same body, so according to the court, they're the same person. So what are you telling me? Kate's alter has taken over now? I'm just gonna, I have to just live with it? For now, yes. No, not for now, because I'm not going to sit around <sighs> while she's going to get Kate the hell away from Johnny. No, you're not. No, you're what not. What do you mean, no, Because I'm not. you already assaulted him once. You go there, you assault him. That's two times right. in one day. You, you kidnap her, you're going to get five years without it's breaking It's not fair. It, I, you know how hard Kate has worked to get rid of this Connie? I know it's not fair. But if you go there, you're going to make things worse. Uh, whatever. Now, wait a second. Hold on. Now, something must have triggered this. What happened to get Connie to have such a hold over Kate? Connie told me that Kate found out about her son. That oh. It was Trey, yeah? When did that happen? Well, he came by to make peace, supposedly, after he snuck off and married our daughter. She found out, it, you know, and she freaked out. She went after him, and that punk didn't even bother to say anything. Your son-in-law to screw things up. As if I didn't think it could get any worse. When Kate found out that Trey was the baby she'd given up, and the only reason he existed was because Joe Jr. raped her, she could not handle it, you understand? And that's when Connie came out. You said that would happen. But I'll tell you what, Joe Jr. is the one who put all this in motion. I mean, he wound up Trey so much that he pointed him straight at my family, at Includes you, Kate. He is he he is the reason that I lost Kate when we were kids, and I, he's the reason that I lost her tonight. Sweetie, are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. sweet. Oh. You sure? Come here. <laughs> it was it was scary, but I'm I'm okay. All right, all right. Over I now. got Sam's message, and she said that you were here <sighs> answering questions and giving a statement. Did they find Scully? I, I don't know. Dante's working on it. What was what was he planning? This, I mean, you know, he's it, gonna kill you and then give Trey all the money. It didn't make any sense. I told him all I had was a trust this, fund. I don't even believe this. I can because Joe Jr. is capable of anything. I knew he was gonna. Him and his son were gonna try to use you. Oh no, Dad! Dad stop! What are you doing no, here, Trey man? didn't know about this. 
Liz. If it wasn't for him, Dad. He, I would have been dead. Why would you bring him in here? D Trey put himself between the gun and Christina, okay? There was a struggle, and when his dad didn't back down, Trey shot his father. To save me. It's true, Dad. Trey saved my life. Look, I love my father. Okay, but I cannot defend him. Not after all this. I'm so sorry for everything. I think of defending your father after what he did to Christina. Dad, I still don't have any use for Trey, but he did save Christina. And if, if, if he had no idea what his father was he planning... He didn't. I swear, Joe Jr. kept going on and on about Trey would never even have to know. I think we'll all be better off when they find Joe Scully. Dead or alive? Uh, if you guys will excuse me, I'm, I'm going to go see if the cops have any news. I'm really sorry, Dad. What are you sorry about? That after everything he went through today, just school just made it worse. Come here. <laughs> what I do, I can't help Kate. Johnny's her husband. He's the only one that could have permitted. Mom, is that true? Well, we thought Olivia would be a good possibility, but she has her own psychological issues. Olivia? She's a blood relative. I mean, she could petition the court to be Kate. Guardian ad litem. The cousin doesn't usually trump a husband's authority. A sister or mother would be an easier sell. Yeah, well, if Kate doesn't get help, was she going to stay as Connie? Hell no. Because I'm going to do what I have to do to get Kate back, and there's, there's got to be a way to force Connie into getting help. 